then also the ministers, other ministers that are here and members of parliament that are also present. I know the provincial minister, you have spoken already, thank you very much. And um, also to the expeditious of time to recognize um, the leadership of the province here, different aspects, different levels. I want to recognize the Farmers Union um, president and your team and your visitors and obviously the diplomatic corps that are here. I have seen some of you and we're grateful that you have been able to make it to this show, uh, to this expo, uh, to be precise, the Agritech uh, Expo 2022 here in Chisang, and uh, I also want to express my appreciation, our appreciation to all the farmers um, that are working so hard and are present here, those that are not present, working very hard to feed our people. Uh, it's a noble call, and please continue. I want to express my appreciation for the presence of other distinguished, um, you know, exhibitors, exhibitors and distinguished uh, guests that are here, and ladies and gentlemen, members of the press. We are very delighted, extremely delighted to be here today to officiate at this Agritech Expo 2022 in December, in this our central province, our farming province, as we have heard already. Uh, truly, truly uh, uh, delighted uh, because, as Mr. Oza, as Oza has expressed, I've come here several times. I've come here as a private citizen, as a fan. But today, it is a bit unusual that I come in the role that the people of Zambia asked me to, to perform um, as a servant of the people of Zambia. But I think it means that I have seen this show from different angles. I've seen agriculture from different angles. And that is important. Leadership, political leadership of our, of our province we know that every now and then we come here. And uh, the last time we came here, we were actually like sneaking in here, and uh, before trouble erupted, we were sneaked out of here. Uh, but I want to assure everybody, part of what we brought back in this country is to restore the rule of law. There will be no one who needs to sneak in and sneak out. Come here and enjoy yourself. Uh, there's order around in the country. And Thomas, please take note that we should never allow, ever again, um, to, to basically degenerate to that level because it inhibits the very essence of this agri-tech expo. Openness, freedoms, very important. You see what's going on in Ukraine, then you understand the value of freedom, the value COVID continues, it may mutate, but it's good that this expo is taking place for the obvious reasons, the value that it brings uh, to our country, to our, city, to our economy. As government, we are really, really honored to engagement, our government's priorities, our government's policy priorities and clear intent to send a message. We sent a message, we believe, to you as funds that our key policy objectives are that process of reconstruction of the economy. And why? Opportunities. First, food. Second, jobs. Third, business opportunities. Not just for the for the farmers. But I want to report that our government, since that meeting, Mr. President, has started taking the steps towards that policy offering, that array of policies, plus one neighbor, nine. Because one neighbor has complained that we keep saying we are eight neighbors, but they say we are also your neighbors, we are connected by the waters of Lake Tanganyika to make it nine. 
to many countries, but it should be the production center. This country should be the processing center, value addition. This country should be the packaging, repackaging center. Should then be the private sector, farmers, government, we are one. We have heard the list of your questions. Now we must work together to provide answers to those questions. I've been looking around, understanding the sector as farmers, myself as a farmer. Many years started young. I farm around here, not far from here. Operations. But agriculture must be viewed from the point of view of physic, fertilizer, seed, a canopy. Fertilizer is broader, is bigger than that. And you of fertilizer. By those given the responsibility to take care of fertilizer are the ones who have been stealing it. Unfortunately, collaborating with suppliers, collaborating sometimes, Mr. President, with farmers. Yeah. Obviously, issues of output, production, issues of storage, issues of irrigation, micro, small, medium. So what are we protecting? The water is gone from fresh water into seawater. You want to use seawater for agriculture, you have to invest a lot of money. We should say no to that together. Taking account of the environmental. I won't say what he said in answer. I said, Minister, that answer is not good enough. That answer is not good enough. If there are goods in transit, they check the ex and the ability for us to produce more to expand. We will deal with those issues in this instrument. Together, Mr. Zimba, no issue that this government has done this which is wrong. No, the fact on that. You are ahead of us on something I want to agree. Agricultural trees. Even that will be part of this instrument, this platform. That's why I love it. Congo, luckily, they love what we produce here. But they've raised one question. At the presidential level, Mr. President, you are here selling your millennium. We gave you the issues of efficiency. Union and my colleagues, the issues of cost of production. How is it that South Africa is able to land a 25 kg bag of melanin in Lubumbashi, next door to us in dollar, at a cost lower than us? His demand. Demand contracts. Then we must work backwards. If it's because it takes six months to get irrigation license, farmers. We need your center people to be working as they were designed to work. If it takes too long to get water right, we will attack private partnership dialogue for development. You've heard me. Public private partnership dialogue for development. All the economic through this dialogue and through this partnership, we will be working together. In the caucus here, outside of this wall, let me expose the president and uh, Ellen. I said we will be having meetings not at a low media critic says the president is micromanaging ministers, is disturbing ministers, is a dictator. I'm not a dictator. I want things done. There are no medicines, no hospitals, 
We must get medicine to the hospital. It's a medicine. So, affordable capital. We'll pull all that together. So, I am glad to say to you, I'm walking away from the text here deliberately to focus on say, let us work together in partnership. And any it means farming costs have gone up. It means we may produce many mill which may not be affordable to our poor. And also to Congo, as I said. So we have to address those exogenous variables. But the best way everybody who is here today, we're grateful for your efforts, for the organization, Mr. President, exhibitors once more, cooperating partners, citizens, Zambia, Chisamba people, small people, let's go to West, which is I think at that point, I must 